Hello students, let's do ratio and proportion. We'll continue exercise 7a from question 7 onwards. The ratio between two quantities is 3 is to 4. And the first quantity is already given to us as 810. We have been asked to find the second quantity. So let's start. The ratio between two quantities given in the question is 3 is to 4. Now let us take the two numbers of the two quantities to be 3x and 4x from the ratio 3 is to 4. Okay. Now, the first quantity is already given to us as 810. And we have taken the first quantity to be 3x. So, 3x will be equal to 810. We can find out what x is. Now, on the left hand side, we have 3x, which means 3 into x. Okay. And on the right hand side, we have 810. We're going to leave it there. On the left hand side, we have left x as it is. Now I'm going to move 3 from the left hand side to the right hand side. Transpose it to the right hand side. Multiplication on the left hand side now becomes division. Let's divide 810 by 3. 3 twos are 6 minus 2. I bring down 1, 3 sevens are 21, minus, I have 0, so it is 270. Now I found the value of x to be 270. I can find the second quantity. My second quantity we have taken as 4x, isn't it? So let's use that now. 4x means 4 into x. So 4 into how much is x? 270. So let's multiply 270 by 4. 4 zeros are 0, 4 sevens are 28, carry 2, 4 twos are 8, 9, 10. So I have found my second quantity to be rupees 1080. Okay, so we found our answer. Our answer is rupees 1080, which is the second quantity. Next question. Two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 7 and their difference is 10. Again, we have to find the numbers. So, the first step will be the ratio of two numbers is 5 is to 7. Now, we'll assume the numbers to be 5 and x and 7x. We'll take the numbers to be 5x and 7x. Now, their difference given in the question is 10. So that means 5x and 7x, when you subtract the two, your answer is 10. So let's do that. 7x, the greater 1, minus 5x equals 10. So let's find x. Okay, 7 minus 5 is 2, so 2x is equal to 10. So x is equal to, now 2x means 2 into x. So when I transpose it to the right hand side, into, that is multiplication, becomes division. So x is equal to 5. Now, what are the numbers? So the numbers are, I have taken the numbers as 5x and 7x, isn't it? So the first number, the first number is 5x. That means 5 into x. And we have found x to be 5. So that means this will be 5 into 5, which is 25. So the first number we have found to be 25. Now the second number, let's take the second number. The second number is 7x. That is 7 into x. That is 7 into x is 5. 7 fives are 35. So we have found both the numbers. The first number is 25 and the second number is 35. Now if you take the difference, you will see that it is 10. Okay. Next one. Question 9. Two numbers are in the ratio 10 is to 11. Their sum 
is 168. Let's find the numbers. The ratio of two numbers, 10 is to 11. Now, let the numbers be 10x and 11x. Okay. The sum of those two numbers is 168. That means 10x plus 11x equals 168. 10 plus 11 is 21. 21x equals 168. 21x means 21 into x. So now let's find x. x is equal to 168. Now, when I move 21 to the right hand side, it becomes division by 21. So let's divide 168 by 21. So if we try to multiply 21 by 8, let's try 21 by 8. 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16 minus. So we've got our x, the value of x as 8. So this is what we've got. Now let's get our numbers. The first number, the first number will be according to what we have given earlier, 10x, isn't it? 10x, which is 10 into x. Again, 10 into how much is x? 8. So 10 into x is 8 is 80. 10 8s are 80. So we have found the first number to be 80. Now our second number, the second number that we have taken it to be is 11x. That means 11 into x. That is 11 into 8 because x is 8. 11 8s are 88. So we have found our second number also. Our first number is 80 and our second number is 88. Question 10. A line is divided into two parts in the ratio 2.5 is to 1.3. If the smaller one is 35.1 centimeter, find the length, the whole length of the line. Okay. The ratio of the two parts is 2.5 is to 1.3. Now, let the two parts be 2.5x and 1.3x. Now, the smaller part as given in the question is 35.1 centimeter. Now, in these two parts, 2.5 and 1.3, which is the smaller one, 1.3. That means 1.3x is equal to 35.1 centimeters. Okay, now to find x, I'm going to leave x on the left hand side and on the right, I'm going to leave 35.1 as it is. I'm going to move this 1.3x, that is 1.3 into x, to the right hand side so it becomes division. 1.3. So to find x, we have to do this division. Now, when you have to divide with a decimal number, we have to make it a whole number. We can make it 13 by moving the point one place to the right. For that, we need to multiply by 10. And if you multiply the denominator by 10, you have to multiply the numerator also by 10. So what do we get here? 351 divided by 13. So we've removed the point. We've got whole numbers. Now let's do this division. So let's divide 351 by 13. 13 ones are 13. 13 twos are 26. So let's subtract. I need to borrow. 15 minus 6 is 9 and I bring down 1. 13 sevens are 91. So minus zero. So I have found x to be 27. That's my quotient. Okay. Now we know the uh, length of the smaller one is 35.1 centimeter. What is the length of the 
bigger part. So let's find the bigger part, the length of the bigger part. So the larger part will be 2.5x that is 2.5 into x which is 27. So let's multiply 2.5 into 27. So when we multiply decimal numbers we ignore the point and we multiply. Then later we have to put back the point. 5 7 are 35, carry 3. 5 2s are 10, 11 12 13. Second step, 2 7s are 14, I carry 1. 2 2s are 4 plus 1, 5. Add up these, 5, 7 and 6, 675. So the larger part is 675, but don't forget to put the point, the decimal place is there in the question this one place so your answer also should have one place so the larger part is 67.5 centimeters now to find the length of the line we have to add the larger part and the smaller part the larger part is 67.5 centimeters and the smaller part is already given in the question 35.1 centimeters so now we have to add up both these parts. So let's add up 67.5 and 35.1 centimeters. 5 plus 1 is 6, 7 plus 5 is 12, carry 1, 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10. So we've got the length of the whole line as 102.6 centimeters. We added up the larger part and the smaller part and we got 102.6 centimeters. Question 11. In a class, the ratio of boys to girls is 7 is to 8. Remember, 7 is to 8 is boys is to girls. Okay. What part of the whole class is girls? So I have the statements here. The ratio of boys to girls is 7 is to 8. Now let's find the sum of the ratios. That means add up the 2. 7 plus 8 is 15. So 7 is for boys, 8 is for girls. So the part of the whole class that is girls will be the second number 8 by 15. Okay. So that was a simple one, isn't it? The girls form 8 15 of the whole class. Question 12. The population of a town is 180,000 out of which males are one third of the whole population. Find the number of females at the first part. We have to find the number of females. Also find the ratio of the number of females to the whole population. Right, let's start. The population of a town is given to us 180,000. Fraction of males. Males are one third of this population. So to find the number of males, we need to take this fraction because it says one third of 180,000 of means into so 180,000. Now let's cancel because you can take this as multiplication of fractions. So three ones are three, three six are 18, can take the zero, this, this, and this. So now what do I have? I have 60,000. So the number of males we have found out to be 60,000. Now we can find the number of females. How do we do that? If we take the total population, which is given to us as 180,000, and we minus the number of males from it, then what is left will be the number of females. So let's do this subtraction. So 180,000 minus 60,000. Zero. Now zero here. Eight minus six is two and one. So we have found the number of females to be 120,000. So the first question is answer the first part. It says find the number of females and we have found the number of females to be 120,000. Now let's carry on. We are supposed to find the ratio also here. The ratio of 
females to the whole population. So let's start. The number of females is 120,000. We just found that. And to the whole population, the whole population is 180,000, which is already given to us in the question. Now let's start working this out. So the first step here is we write it as a fraction. So 120,000 divided by 180,000. Now we can cancel the zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have cancelled four zeros. Now I can continue by dividing both by a common factor to reduce it to the lowest term. Remember, ratio has to be expressed always in the lowest term. So here I'm going to divide both by 6. So when I divide by 6, I get 6 twos are 12. Only 12 is left there. And 6 threes are 18 because only 18 is left there. So we have found the ratio of females to the whole population to be 2 is to 3. So this is our final answer. The answer to the second part of the question, which says find the ratio of the number of females to the whole population.